Hello, everyone. Welcome to our talk at CVPR 2020. We will talk about how to perform probabilistic and oriented object detection with radar data for autonomous driving. In this work, we proposed a deep learning-based model for radar object detection. The model takes in radar data alone, specifically corner radar data, in its raw tensor representation. Oriented bounding boxes are predicted with uncertainty estimation in the bird's eye view space. The top left image is a typical example of the input data into our neural network model. The camera image and the LiDAR data are only used for visualization and are not available during prediction. LiDAR data are also used to provide ground truths to our perception pipeline. Before we dive into the details, why do we want to use automotive radar in the first place? Radar sensors have distinctive advantages over other sensors used in autonomous driving, such as cameras and LiDARs. Radars are low-cost, robust sensors that can provide accurate measurements of distance and instantaneous velocity even under severe weather conditions. Working with radar data also has many challenges. Conventionally, raw radar data are heavily processed with radar digital signal processing, or DSP techniques, leading to very sparse data points, typically one data point per object. However, these so-called radar detection results do not indicate the physical size or orientation of detected objects. To address these drawbacks, it's a natural idea to see how much we can leverage the recent advances in deep learning for radar object detection. But in order to perform object detection with deep learning, we need a denser representation, preferably before heavy DSP. This page shows various formats of the dense radar representation we propose to use in our deep neural network. Radar signals are processed with minimum DSP to preserve as much raw information as possible. Figure A is a range azimuth map processed by 2D FFT on both dimensions. And in order to improve the azimuth resolution, we adopted a super resolution algorithm called MUSIC to obtain figure B. Green arrows indicate a passing vehicle in front of our corner radar, while red arrows indicate the barrier of the highway. To facilitate data annotation, we also converted the polar coordinates of the range azimuth map to Cartesian coordinates as shown in C and D. The physical shape of a passing vehicle is well preserved under Cartesian coordinates using music algorithm. And from the video, we can clearly see the radar response of passing vehicles and the highway barrier. In this way, we have four different formats of radar data, and we tested performance of our algorithm using all four data formats to demonstrate the necessity of the music algorithm and coordinate transformation. We used the LiDAR data to automatically obtain ground truth annotation. In order to get accurate perception results on LiDAR data, we combined several state-of-the-art 3D object detection algorithms, namely complex ULU and point RCNN, through test time augmentation and the model ensemble to achieve high performance. In order to accurately transfer the LiDAR annotation results to radar, we need accurate calibration between LiDAR and radar. Specifically, we repacked the LiDAR data to avoid any inconsistency caused by LiDAR's rolling shutter effect. The two images illustrate one such example before and after applying our correction. To build the final dataset, we downsampled the synchronized radar and LiDAR data to reduce temporal correlation between adjacent frames. The final radar dataset contains more than 100,000 images in total. The right figure shows the spatial distribution of the ground truth bounding boxes. With the dataset in place, we performed object detection with radar data. We adopted a standard object detection framework based on YOLO but with oriented anchors for oriented object detection. We also jointly predicted the uncertainty during bounding box regression. The uncertainty prediction can help us address the intrinsic noise and ambiguity in radar signal. Here we show the precision recall curve demonstrating the performance of our algorithm and our different IOU thresholds. We performed extensive ablation studies to analyze different components of our model. First of all, the Cartesian format with music processing is by far the best data representation. Second, adding data augmentation and training with more data both greatly boosted the performance of our model. The last table shows the effect of uncertainty prediction. The average precision performance improved when learned with uncertainty. In addition, the predicted uncertainty itself is also useful and critical for downstream modules in autonomous driving, such as sensor fusion and behavior planning. Here are some qualitative examples. Ground truth is marked in green and the prediction is marked in red. Our algorithm is capable of accurately predicting both the orientation and position of surrounding vehicles. Thank you for your attention. Please refer to our paper for further details.